Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going through the steps on how to speed up your Windows 10 computer. So some of these tips will work on Windows 8 and Windows 7, uh, but we're gonna go through my top 10 tips for Windows 10 and how to speed it up. So number one is to remove items from startup. So you may or may not be aware, but there's a whole bunch of apps that run in the background of your Windows computer that you don't necessarily want to be running there. So when your computer starts up, it starts booting up a whole heap of apps in the background, your services, your taskbar items, a whole bunch of other apps, uh, and some of them you may not actually need them to be running all the time. So by removing some of these, you'll find that your Windows will run better. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna, there's two areas that you can do this. The first one is to type in msconfig and you open up the system configuration. Now what this is gonna bring up is it's gonna let you remove a whole bunch of startup items, all right? So we go to the startup tab, open your task manager and you'll see that at the moment it says that there are two apps that are running in the background. All right, so you wanna select one of these and you can actually disable OneDrive from starting. And in this case, I've got VMware tools from starting as well. The other way that you can do it, which will give you a lot more information, is to go into the registry, okay? Now you type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and you press enter. And this will get you into the registry of your computer. Now. I will warn you that if you are not careful with what you're touching in the registry, you could cause a lot of issues from your computer and possibly even stop it from starting up if you don't follow these instructions exactly as it is. Let's go into local machine. Software, Microsoft, and you go all the way down to Windows, current version, and run. So this has one of the processes that we saw today. Some others may be listed in here. Okay, so you wanna go in, right click, and delete it from here. By deleting it from there, you're removing it completely from your computer's startup. Okay, so just be careful when you do this, but you'll find that some apps will appear in there, removing them, you'll find that you know certain things run a little bit better. Number two, is to give your Windows a general file cleanup. So over time, if you look inside your Windows Explorer, in your File Explorer, there's gonna be files that just accumulate over time, right? So inside your C drive, you've probably got a whole bunch of folders in here, a lot more than what I've probably got. And just over time, things are gonna to start to accumulate. Clearing out some files and some folders and some apps that you don't need is going to speed up your computer in general. So this is something that I would highly recommend for you to do. Things like going into your uh, into your users drive, you know, so this is my Emilio folder, my user, and you can go through things like your downloads. This will contain a whole bunch of download stuff that you may have downloaded, your documents, things from your desktop, and a whole bunch of other things like that as well. So go through this and clear it. There are also things like temp files that you can go in and clear up as well. So we're gonna go through that a little, a little while later, but that's something that I would definitely recommend is give your Windows files a cleanup. What you can also do is you can right click on your C drive and go into the properties tab and run what's called a disk cleanup. All right, so if we open this up, So once that finishes scanning, you'll see that it's detected a whole bunch of stuff. So that will now bring up your disk cleanup wizard. Now I also did click on an area on a button around here that did say system files or something around those lines, because it's gonna bring up a whole bunch of more options. So what I wanna do is select every single one of these. Okay, maybe just monitor, monitor what's in here. Select everything and it's tell me I'm gonna save 21.8 meg of files. So this is gonna go in and delete a whole bunch of stuff. You're probably gonna have a lot more than this if you haven't ran it before. And then you just run and click okay. I'm gonna ask you, are you, per are you sure? And delete. That's now gonna go and start scanning that computer and deleting any of those files 
that it needs to delete. Okay, so the process could be very quick, but could also take a very long time if you do have a lot of data in there. Number three is to defrag your computer. Now in this same area, so what we did before is right click on that C drive and go into properties. You've got the tools area and you can do what's called an optimize and defragment of your drive. So we wanna click on the optimize button and this is gonna bring up your optimized drives or your defrag drives screen. We wanna select your C drive and you click on optimize. Optimize will run analyze and then it will optimize as well. Analyze is just gonna analyze it and it's not gonna really actually change anything. So go ahead and optimize your disk. Uh, run this every so often. It's good to maybe run it once a week, maybe even once a month. But do it and you'll find that things will get speed up over time. So essentially what defrag does is in the back end, it's grabbing all the chunks of the blocks of data in the back end and putting them all in a sequential order so that there's no gaps in files and everything. I won't bore you with the technicalities behind it, but it will make your computer quicker. To check your disks for errors. So again, in this same area, under the tools, there's an error checking option. This option will check the drive for file system errors. Select on check. It's going to now, you, well, it's telling me you don't need to scan this disk. We haven't found any errors, but yours may say something different. Scan the drive, click on the options to automatically fix, scan the drive. It may ask you to restart your computer. If it does, restart it and let it do what it needs to do at the start up, and it will go ahead, scan your disk, fix up any, any inconsistencies, clean up any, any errors, and you'll find that things will speed up, hopefully. Number five is to disable Windows Defender. Now, I would recommend doing this at your own, um, your own peril. Uh, Windows Defender essentially runs in the background of your computer and just protects your computer from things like malware and, and intrusions from unwanted sources and those sort of things. That's all well and good. So just be careful if you do want to def delete this or not, stop this or not. Um, but it does run in the background a fair bit and it can make your computer slow. So to disable it, you go into start and we're going to look for Windows Defender and press enter. All right. We then want to click on the settings area. It's going to bring up the settings for your Windows Defender. It's going to th have things like real-time protection, cloud-based cloud protection, etc., etc. So we want to go ahead and off on some of these. Okay. And that will remove some of those features from Windows Defender. And you'll find that things can start to run a little bit quicker. Again, do this at your own risk because it can cause issues um, if you don't have the you know, proper security or protection uh, in the background. Number six is to disable IP version six from your network cards. Now this is something that may not improve too much of your performance, but it's just helpful to do it uh, because essentially, uh, well, let's just show you how to do it and then we'll describe what, what, what we're actually doing, all right? So we're gonna go into the start menu. We're going into control panel and then navigate into your network sharing center and change adapter settings. And in here, you're gonna have some network cards. You may have just ethernet, you may have also a Wi-Fi one. You wanna do this on every device that you have. So you've got your ethernet and Wi-Fi, do it on both. Right click on your first one and go into properties. And then you've got two things in here. You've got internet protocol version four and internet protocol version six. So your IP, this is internet protocol stands for IP version four, is your standard IP range, yeah? So 192.168.1.1 is a standard IP version four. IP version six is a newer IP range. It's not in use as much, uh, uh, it's not as in use as much as IP version four. It may be in the future, but not at this stage. So by disabling six, uh, you're essentially telling all of your traffic um, to use IP version four only, and it's not gonna try to resolve things on, on version six. So just go ahead into here, and essentially what I've done is just untick it. So just untick it, and then say okay. Number seven is removing unwanted programs. So over time, you're gonna to start to install a lot of apps on your computer, 
and you may want to start to remove some of these apps. You may find there's a lot of apps that you don't use anymore and they're just taking up space and potentially using up resources on your computer. So to get rid of those, we go again into start, we go into control panel. We then want to look for, uh, what are we looking for? Programs and features, okay? This is now gonna give you a list. It may take a little bit of time to show up on yours if you have a lot more. Gonna give you a list of all of the apps that are installed on your computer. If you don't want an app, you simply select the app and you click on uninstall and then follow the prompts. It'll generally be next, next, okay, something similar. Just follow the prompts and uninstall it, okay? Similar if I do it, say for Google Chrome, uninstall, it's now gonna prompt me for something and it will go ahead and uninstall it. Now again, you may not want to do this for all of your apps, all right? So in this case, you've got a simple uninstall or also delete your browsing data and uninstall. Okay, so uninstalling programs that you no longer use uh, is gonna speed up your computer as well. Number eight is to increase your virtual memory. So what is virtual memory? So you've probably heard of RAM and memory on your computer. You know, you may have two, you know, two gig worth of RAM, four gig worth of RAM, eight gig, 16, whatever gigs of RAM you've got on your computer. Your virtual memory is essentially what your computer goes to once it's run out of physical memory. So it's always good to set your virtual memory um, as the same or more than what you have as your physical memory. So let's just go, I'll show you and we'll talk a bit more about it. In your start menu, we're going into control panel. Then we're gonna to navigate to system and advanced system settings. Okay. And we're gonna to go to settings, advanced, right? So advanced, settings, advanced, change. Now in here, automatically managing your page file. So virtual memory is, is uh, cr gonna create what's called a page file, which is sitting on your local C drive. This is gonna automatically create it based on what your RAM is, okay? You can also untick that and actually customize this. You can actually shrink it down, okay? or you can increase it. Increasing it may be a good thing. If your computer is running slow, it could be because you're running out of physical memory, it's using up all your RAM, and it's going into your page folder, into your virtual memory. So increasing it could actually be a good thing. So go ahead in here and increase it. So if you've got two gig worth of RAM, physical RAM, which is something like 2000, maybe put 4000 worth of um, virtual memory and it's willing to grow up to 8,000 worth of virtual memory. Now this is eight gig, right? So this is gonna use up eight gig of your hard drive space on your C drive, okay? So just be wary of that, but that's something to consider as well. So number nine is to disable visual effects. So in this same area where we were before, all right? So in the advanced system settings, we go to advanced, we go into settings under, under the performance. You've got what's called visual effects. Now all these effects you'll see, animate controls, animation in the taskbar, um, slide open combo boxes. All this stuff is essentially fancy visual effects that are built into Windows to make it look really suave, really slick, really cool, right? Um, this sort of thing, it, it's gonna make it look nice, but because it is visual effects, because it's gonna use resources, it's gonna make your computer run slower. So going through, and you can select things like adjust for best appearance or adjust for best performance. So if you're trying to go for performance, you may wanna tick that. Automatically, that's gonna remove everything. What you can also do is go into the custom and select, okay, look, I want some of these cool features still to be here but I don't want these other features. Removing these performance, uh, these features will improve your performance as well. So look through your visual effects. If you're not using them, uh, go ahead and remove them there. And number 10, last resort, if all of those things have not worked, 
there are things that you can do, like you can get apps off the internet to do cleanups of your computer and those sort of things. Let's just say you've tried everything. You've tried everything on the software side uh, and it's still not performing the way that it should. The next thing you can do is look at increasing some of your resources, physical resources of your computer itself. Look at the hardware, right? You may wanna be getting a bigger hard drive if you're running out of space. You may want to look at getting more RAM, increasing your CPU, those sort of things. So you're putting more RAM into your computer is going to increase the speed of your computer. If you're not too comfortable on how to do this, you can always go down to your computer store and tell them, look, my computer is running a bit slow. I'm looking at getting some more RAM, some more, a better CPU, and they will recommend to you what you should get. So last resort, you've tried all your software. You've re even reinstalled Windows perhaps, and it's still running very poorly go ahead and look at possibly increasing the hardware specs of your Windows 10 computer. So that is it. They're my top 10 tips on how to speed up your Windows 10. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.